Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw a vampire bat. I know this is a little bit early for Halloween, but what happens is that in the next four weeks I will be promoting my new book that is finally going to come out. But for today, let's draw the bat. We mark the size we want and then, with loose strokes, we sketch the general shape of the body, then the wings, and some of the internal structure, the ears, and the face, which will be more or less square. The arms will be on the sides. As you can see, I'm drawing with a white pencil on black paper. He will have the snout open because he's going to be ferocious. <laughs> we drew the fangs, the eyes, and begin to bring light to the drawing. I didn't say shade the drawing because we are actually drawing in negative, adding the lights. Here will go the other arm. And I erase this part because I want to do it more rounded, like so. The wings look somehow like an umbrella. We make it a little bit thinner because we don't want it to look chubby. And then we begin making the fur. We accomplish this by making small lines. Like this. Of course we press more with the pencil where we want it to look lighter. We make the legs. We refine the line and we make more detail and texture to then shade or give light. <laughs> we continue on the other side. I really hope tonight nobody has nightmares because of my drawing. <laughs> we draw this in a more or less uniform way. Also, as I want to show some curve or waving, we give more light to some areas, for example, close to the little bones. There are other areas, as you see, that I leave practically with no pencil marks, so that they look as if they were in shadow. Up to now, I have been using a white pencil called Call Erase, which has the advantage that it can be erased and also smudged. In fact, here I will smudge and erase. However, it doesn't draw very intensely. So now I switched to this other one, which cannot be erased very easily, but that I will use to reinforce the areas that I want to highlight. For example, here on the border and up here. Very good. This side is the one that will be receiving the most light. Like this. To reinforce some shadows, we can use the eraser. I would love it if you let me know in the comments what do you think about it. We do the last details, extend this part of the wing, and it's ready! <laughs> if you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends, and subscribe to find our tips. You know where to follow me, the links are below. And I will see you on Tuesday.